community is getting ready to honor a homeless woman brutally murdered outside the Miami City Ballet. This all comes as we learn more about her accused killer's troubling past. Local 10's Leanne Morahone is live. She's on Miami Beach now with the very latest. Leanne. I'm here at the courtyard outside of Pride Lines on Washington and 12th, and that is where a vigil will be set in about two hours from now. I've been looking into the criminal history of the man that's accused of this horrible murder, and I also looked into how he ended up on probation out on the streets when this murder took place. These are serious charges. No bond for Gregory Gibbert, charged with the murder of Andrea Dos Passos, a homeless trans woman who was beat to death early Tuesday morning as she slept in front of a Miami Beach building. Allegedly struck the victim with a metal pipe. Gibbert has a long criminal history in Miami-Dade County. Most recently, he was out on probation after pleading guilty to attempted armed robbery and aggravated assault. A closeout memo provided by the state attorney's office details the crime and what led to Gibbert's plea offer. The state says Gibbert approached a man in May of last year while carrying something sharp and demanded he get off a scooter. The two argued that at one point Gibbert threw rocks at the victim. He wasn't hurt and Gibbert was arrested. The state cites multiple reasons for why the case collapsed, including that, quote, the civilian witness failed to appear for three separate depositions and that due to statements made by the victim during deposition concerning identification and his testimony of the incident in conjunction with the evidence collected by law enforcement, they came to Gibbard with a plea deal. On April 15, 2024, Judge Andrea Wolfson ruled he should get credit for the year he spent behind bars. The result, no new jail time and four years probation. Eight days after after the deal went into effect, Andrea Dos Passos was killed. Do I have anger yet with the person? No. Do I feel that he shouldn't be on the street? I don't know. Andrea's stepfather spoke to us Wednesday about his feelings towards Gibbert. I, I, I cannot give any opinion about that yet. It is too early stages. In a statement, Miami Beach's mayor said in part, quote, this case is further evidence that individuals need to be held accountable for prior violent crimes for the protection of the public. Gibbard has another court hearing set for tomorrow. Again, the vigil set for right here outside of Pride Lines, an LGBTQ plus uh, organization set here in Miami Beach is set to begin at 630. Reporting live on Miami Beach, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.